welcome back to the Camel Coach. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys, how are we going? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. We but, would. No, uh, people might not. Oh, uh, okay. We're laughing because um, I've been, been sitting about, here. It's just been about 30 minutes. Trying Try an to, hour. Oh, I don't think it was an hour. Uh huh. 30 minutes trying to an sort hour. out why my microphone wasn't working because we both have separate microphones. Mm. And, you know, I'm cursing the computer and I need a new computer, I need this, I need that. And then I, I went to the toilet, I relaxed a little bit and then I came back <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my microphone thing's in the wrong hole. There it's you go. Now. There's so, something that can be said about that, but I'm not going. Okay. No. Well, I thought actually, I'm like, isn't that a really great lesson that if you just relax and just, just you know, chill out, and this is really goes with camel training. Oh, I was too. just thinking that, yeah. yeah that's what, why I'm saying this is because if you just chill out and take a step back and take a breather and then come back in. Yes. You'll sort it so out. So you're trying to suggest to everyone that before they do a training session with their camel that they go to the toilet. Well, that's definitely recommended. Oh. Like, you know, <laughs> and have, relax. If you have, yeah, well, but, yeah. Anyway, but you get my point, right? Oh, yeah. Like, it's a good anyway, point. Anyway, what are we talking about today? Today, we're not talking about toilets or microphones. No. Um, what are we talking about? Um, about, to, about pet camels. Yeah, okay. Do pet camels need training? Mm, oh, well, I mean, to me, that's a no-brainer, but, uh, you well, know... Let's just go. Let's just go there for a minute because um, many, many people have pet camels. Yes. But um, we attract also, and you guys listening out there might be one of these people. You might have a pet camel, but you've never attempted to handle or train the camel. And that is a really good point because there are there's heaps of people out there, and and you know it, it's a matter of. Um, uh, quite often, I find that uh, people will say to me, "Oh, you know, but I don't have time." Yeah, well, time's an illusion, but yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's heaps of other podcasts uh, out there about that. <laughs> oh, but, um, or, um, you know, um, there's a level of confidence that's needed. And can I just say, like, I'm going to be really blunt here because it's kind of like my signature move. But if you don't have time, then you don't have time for a camel. If you don't uh, have time to train and handle a camel. I suppose it depends, though, Tara. I mean, like, you know, you've got to be realistic. I mean, you know, if they're on a big property and they're after weed eaters that yeah. are going to stay in the paddock and that's it. That's yeah, a different story. But, like... But that's not a pet. We've seen... No, but this is a good point, too, that you bring up because we've we've seen all the situations. God, like, I mean, you know, we've seen it. Um, we've seen it all. We've seen people wanting pets. We've seen people wanting weed eaters. You know, we've seen people wanting to use the camel as well. But we've also seen problems occur because all camels, if you take a camel out of their natural environment, they, they're going to need husbandry and vet care. Yeah, at it's some just, stage, yeah, it's sure. It's just as simple That's as how that. it is, yeah. Um, and, and gee, talking with Margie the other day... Wow, we you know it's amazing what can happen with the camels, but how preventable it can be. Um, but you need to be able to get with the camels to be able to recognise so and do these things. So for those who aren't caught up with the program, Margie is our resident camel vet in our Camel Air Academy membership, which is our membership site dedicated to um, the people who have been through our in-person course or our online course. Mm. So we've been having some chats with her, some live chats on Facebook and stuff like that in our private groups. Um, just her incredible knowledge on camel husbandry um, and vet care. Okay, so going back to, <laughs> for some reason the recording stopped. Anyway, gosh, today's the day, isn't it? Um, so yes, all like regardless of whether you have a, a pet, wanting camel as a pet, or a weed eating device, <laughs> weed, well, eating weed eating an animal. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Sooner or later, they're going to need vet care, and you know, some really common things are like, especially with um, the weed eating camels, is like. Uh, you know, scours. You know, uh, they, they're going to need deworming because yeah. it's such a common thing. Yeah. Um, they're going to need stool samples done and everything like that. So, yeah. um, did you want to speak on the? Well, anything can happen. I mean, you know, the cabal could go ahead and eat. Fence, we've seen that. That's right. Yeah. Um, you know, eat too much ryegrass, for example, and get the wobbles up and spear themselves with a, a, a star picket or something. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, that's, we know that to be true has mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and you know, there's, uh, you know, a gaping big hole in the camel. You want something to done, done about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's, I think, really where um, it doesn't matter where you are 
with your camel or what you got your camel for to spend that bit of time to get some basic foundational training mm. uh, is is invaluable, and it will but look. You only have to use it once, you know, in the future. Mm. Um, um, but if it's if it's in the camel, they understand, and uh, you know, and if you do find, you know, even five years down the track, they don't forget. No, well, they, I think that's where a lot of people assume that if I start, I'm going to have to keep going, like with horses, you have to keep going and going and going to reinforce all the training. You train to the level that you want them to be at. Well, yeah, and that does need some reinforcement, but, you know, they're like elephants. They just do not forget. They do not forget. They just don't forget. That will be challenging. This is where a lot of people are like, oh, I'm pretty sure my camel's forgot its training. No. No. They, They might... Decide to challenge you. That's right. That they, you know, give it a few minutes or a couple of hours. Jeez, it sounds like a marriage, isn't it? And they they come back good. Mm. Mm. It does, doesn't it? I don't know. It sounds like does a, it? yeah, it sounds like any any sort of relationship. I mean, can be challenging <laughs> um, at times, and uh, or or be challenged by the other person, for example, and uh, and yet you know you still love them, and you're still going to go through whatever it is that but you're you going through. But you haven't forgotten, you know, yeah. all the lessons learned. That's it. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, camels don't regress, people. No. That should be a hashtag. They actually get just better and better. They do, especially over time. But they will as challenge. they get more mature and. Mm. more understanding of the world but um okay so pet camels do they need training i think we've pretty much answered all that yeah it's over goodbye no. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, obviously yeah. like you guys would probably get the gist of our answer already because we believe every camel deserves to be handled and i say deserves yeah. to be handled and trained yeah. um you know there's so many situations we've seen where a camel hasn't been handled um or has had you know minimal handling sort of thing and it needs vet care and that's um, a problem and it's tranquilized it's you know with a dart gun i think that's what they call sometimes it. Yeah. and that can cause problems well i mean you know like yeah you're putting um you know a sleepy night night juice um you know into an animal you don't really know what, what is wrong with the animal to start with this is what the vets are, you yeah. know from or the, the vet or the weight of the animal too. or the weight yeah. of the animal so therefore the ratio of um sleepy night night juice yeah um and um yeah it, it can cause massive problems including no, the animal to die. Yeah. Uh, a it's a this, real risk. A lot of this, um, what we're talking about now, we're focusing a lot about about caring for the camel because, like, a lot of people that have pet camels don't really have plans per se. Like, they don't – and if you do, that's cool as well. I mean, we call our camels pet camels and obviously we use them. Um, but, you know, some people just want them as company um, and that's, that's cool as well. But there's always that point at that stage where – um, they will need some sort of vet or husbandry care. And yeah. simply put also, that camel wants to connect with you. It, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly where I was going to go. So go you've there. actually, you've, yeah, no, look, I mean, the camel's natural curiosity Um that they actually want the connection, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, even if it's just standing there looking aloof, you know, people say, "Oh, gee, they look so aloof." No, they're being observant. They're very observant. All right, um, they're thinkers. And and you know, they want this connection, and you know, sometimes you've just, you know, I mean. I don't know. I mean, you know, if I was just didn't know what I wanted to do with a camel, but I've got a camel, you know, I'd really want to get to know that animal. Mm. I really, really would. And training, all right, step by step procedures and all that sort of thing, you know, that I keep rattling on about, um, it provides you with the opportunity to make that connection so that you really actually get to know your animal. Mm, mm. And they get to know you. Mm. Right? And a lot of people who attend our courses, they just, they, they don't know what they want to do with camels, but yeah. they, they come for the experience. And then they find, and then during the, their training course, they're like, oh my God, I have total clarity on what I want to do with camels. Yeah. And um, yeah, so like the more, and th- th- this does come with a warning though, like the more you start handling your camel and being around the camel, the more you're going to want to do with them. 
Uh, look, yeah, and it's a great warning because uh, it's a loving warning and it's, a, it's one that, uh, you know, if you ignore, you're actually ignoring your own emotional feelings and, uh, mm. and desires, you know, mm. if uh, this loving connection that you can have with such a beautiful creature. Mm. Um, I mean, like, you know, this is one of the reasons why, I mean, many, many, many years ago, it feels like a, you know, a couple of lifetimes, um, when I was training first camel who... Very sadly, he's just recently passed away. Mr. Taggles. Um, Mr. Taggles. But uh, he was the one that actually changed my life um, because in the training process, which I was under the expert guidance of uh, Phil G, my, who was my mentor, um, there was a moment when all of a sudden it, there was a switching point inside me and, and, and the, the connection occurred. Um, with Tagles and myself, and and I'd never felt that, not with a human, not with anything. Mm. Um, I mean, yes, you know, growing up, man, yes, of course, I'd been in love, you know, and out of love, and all that sort of stuff, right? You know, and from a human to human perspective, but never actually felt such pure love, pure purity, um, unconditional, a, unconditional, unattached. no, no judgment, no anything there was no conditions uh, to this it was just pure and it was that moment in that training session when I decided I thought wow this is so powerful this is incredible it had me in tears mm. had me in tears and uh, and and I just thought everyone's got to get to know this mm -hmm. Everyone's got to get to know this. And like I said, it changed my life. And that is the reason why we're here now mm -hmm. is because I've continuously wanted to train people with their camels so that allows the environment for that spark of a moment to occur that and that falling in love with a, a beautiful animal like a camel. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's the most amazing thing that's ever happened. And, uh, and those uh, that experience it within our with our students, they they think it's the most amazing. Ah, uh, look, too. look, it's you to give, give you give you the, uh, the give you the uh, rundown, guys. I mean, honestly, in our clinics, I mean, it is quite often the case that you have someone in tears. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 if not, if not, if not, if not the whole group, you know. Um, yeah, I'm an emotional creature. That's fine. Um, but uh, and I'm not going to deny it. My ego is not uh, that big anymore. I don't think. I oh, hope no. not. You're uh, the first to shed a tear. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, you know, and it's okay for men to cry too, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hashtag blokes, blokes, can blokes cry. can cry. <laughs> dot com. Um, yeah, yeah. And 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 you know, this is why we love doing what we're doing because uh, you know we're opening up that opportunity mm. um, of people going through a process with an animal. And experiencing that spark mm. that happens between, mm. and I call it heart to heart. Mm. There you go. Yeah, probably yeah. a bit of oxytocin, oxytocin, oh, oxytocin rush as well. I which don't know. Makes it addictive. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I'm certainly not but, going to I mean, attach myself to tubes while I'm training a camel. But that yeah. would be interesting. Though. Well, I think brain waves would be. Yeah, for sure. Brain waves. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just. If you've got a pet camel, you know, like go through go through a training that really resonates with you. Because like as you guys know, if you've listened to us for a while, we're not about the doing. Yeah. You know, we, we get stuff done and we get results, but we're about the the connection and let's actually feel who this animal actually is because that way you can better communicate with the camel they can understand you better and you get better results and yeah that's just proven time and time again with all the courses that we run um so you know you kind of i mean if you haven't done anything with your camel yet um i will say you are missing out but that's okay because you still got time well people also come to it at the right time yeah so, you know, um, it's... But I'm not saying they should come to that, our course. I'm saying that they're no. missing out on a connection. Yeah, but quite often what I'm saying, though, is that often a set of circumstances has to occur in a person's life for them to be at that jump-off point. Yeah, and this might uh, be that circumstance right now, hearing us podcast. on the podcast. Could be, so could be. That's why I thought yeah. I'd say it, because yeah. um, it's such an incredible thing you can have. Um, yeah, 
I mean, like, we get lost for words. It's like, yeah, how do you explain? You can't explain something like that. No. You can only feel it. You can only be in it. And yeah. um, that's that's what you've got at the end of the day. And, yeah. you know, like Russell said, camels want connection. And we, we go on and on and on and on, on about this. So a lot of this information you may have already heard. But the thing is, is if you hear things over and over and over again, you know, repetition is the mother of all learning. So it sinks in you know what like you know how you can learn stuff and then you're like i know that but you don't really uh know it in in your heart internally of yeah, internally yeah, and yeah. then one day it'll click and you're like oh, oh I get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like that with camel training too mm. um and that's why people come back i think the second third fourth time with yeah training, it's amazing it? So, isn't it? yeah we've had people come back four times yeah that's incredible yeah well it gets huh? addictive and, it? well it is addictive and uh you know i mean it's sort of uh, for them it's reinforced and uh you know gain their confidence and all that sort of thing yeah you know? yeah become really good friends actually so does your pet camel need training um we believe so absolutely yes yeah. i mean for practical reasons they will need husbandry and vet care um eventually or and also you know we've got a procedure um on um you know, like keep, keeping your camel in good health. And one of those procedures is collecting stool samples and mm. going through a deworming process if that's needed. And that definitely requires handling because that's either an oral dewormer mm. or an injectable because um, yeah. the porons we learnt don't work. So mm. um, makes complete sense. It, it's amazing. I just gave away that gold nugget. I know. Guys, the poron stuff that we've been recommending or we've been using too, um, our resident camel it's vet It's not Margie, effective. It's not effective as much as the other stuff. Let's put it well, that way. Well, because the camels have different fur to yeah. the cattle. Yeah. So anyway, that was a little gold nugget. Yeah. Um, but we actually went through that. Was that a yeah? That was in a, one of our vet talks. Mm. So our camel husbandry and vet care short course, mm. which is now available in the Camelier Academy. So excellent. Yeah. Um, so they'll be there for members to see. Excellent. So obviously you've got the practical, the vet care, the husbandry, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then, of course, you've got the relationship side of it, you know, and you can go as deep as you want to go with this relationship. Oh, yeah. You know. Um, That's where I could rattle on for hours, you know. So yeah. we won't go to everything on that. I mean, we've got to leave something for another podcast. <laughs> There's always something to say. But, I mean, you said it beautifully with Taggles, like how he captured you and... Ever since then, it was just this Well, it changed my entire life. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, there I was, uh, you know, I mean, I had been an English uh, lecturer uh, for many years in various countries around the world as well as Australia. And, you know, I had done the tour guiding thing, but uh, this connection that I had with uh, Tegels, uh, well, that was it. You know, I, I just knew camels. That was it. Uh, yeah. that, that was it. It, it it's, had and, to be. And that being in your life all those years ago led to you doing your big expedition with the camels. Oh, yeah. And then it led to us meeting yeah. in a, you know, isolated part of the country. Yeah. Um, and, and now putting all this together for everyone to share. Yeah. And, so it's uh, all and gain started from. With, with Mr. T. With that spark. Yeah. That, that very one spark. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Taggles. Yeah, Kudos my to ass. you, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Rest in peace, brother. Yeah, he is. Um, he'll keep on guiding us in the right way anyway. Mm. So that's a bit of a tribute to Taggles. But that gives you guys a good feeling on, um, you know, how, how deep this connection can go far and wide, you know, if you're open to it. If you're closed off and you just want results and you're not interested in that connection, you know, as we've said before, our style of training is not is not up your alley um, because we are about connecting with the camel and getting that really deep um, communication happening, which can lead to so many other beautiful avenues. Oh. Um, and a lot of people, I think, with pet camels experience that on some level without having, like, you don't have to handle the camel to experience that. Um, but the training is obviously necessary to be able to do other things. Well, yeah, look, I mean, you know, look, I've just actually thought of something as I'm picking a few scabs off my hand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Well, there's a visual. <laughs> no, but, um, uh, you know, it, it's really great to have a pet. You know, it, it's lovely having a pet. Um, and, you know, to have a pet camel, oh, that's great, you know, and, oh, aren't they cute, aren't they is, aren't they that, and all that sort of thing, and, you know... Um, We've all been there, um, definitely. But it is different when your camel 
ends up loving you mm. and you love it. It's 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 a different relationship. Mm. It's a different connection and it's much deeper. It's much more responsive and uh, it's much more understanding. And it's also much more knowing mm. what, what 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 each other each other's thinking and how feeling and all they that sort of thing. They definitely have, as an animal, they have a different energy. Like all animals have different energies. Horses have different energies to camels, and camels to dogs, and you know, dogs to cats, sort of thing. So yeah. I totally hear what you're saying there, and um, so that's where that what I believe you're saying is that camel connection is is far beyond anything that you've experienced thus far. Oh, look, you know, look, you can have a pet bird and have the bird, you know, sit on your hand and go tweet, 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 and you're going tweet, tweet, tweet back. Um, but there's, it's, it's a different relationship than what you can actually have with a camel. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, as in Rajasthan, you know, they are the symbol of love. Um, it's been traditionally so. Um, and... And that's been recognised, you know, for many thousands of years. And, yeah, look, you know, it's just something totally different. It is. Totally, it totally, is totally different. totally different. And well, you... You've got to get that spark. And once you get that spark and that good connection, it's a nose-to-nose connection that's mm. happening there. Mm. And uh, all boundaries are, are shot away. Mm. Um all, all, all of what I call the onion layers. Mm. And all you've got is heart-to-heart connection. And it's just the most remarkable thing mm. now if you're listening and you you have been working with your camels and you don't feel like you're quite there yet with this what we're talking about like you you can understand the feeling but you haven't experienced that you will get there and you know it takes practice and it takes you know a little bit of technique as well um there's there's things that we do in our training courses that can um we teach people to help encourage that camel connection um so don't feel like if you've got a camel or camels that you're working with and you feel like you, you haven't quite had that uh, intensity of what we're talking about, it can come and uh, it will come it in will time. Come. Um, and, you know, with, with extra help and support also is really handy and people, mentors and things like that, people like us. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it does come in time because I remember I was one of those people is that I didn't quite... Like, I, I, I kind of understood what you experienced, Russell, but I didn't quite get it. This is, this is what I'm saying. That's exactly right. You know, we, we know the words. Yeah. But to actually have it embossed into your heart. Which is through experience. And, mm. uh, but uh, just that, it only just take, it, it's very quick when it happens. And yeah. I'll tell you what, the, it it's, it's with you forever. Yeah. It's with you forever. But, yeah, you can hear the words and understand the words and the language but to actually contain it mm. and have it for yourself, and you know, and, uh, and share it is a different thing. Yeah, and that comes through through experience in it. Mm. And so, yeah, now I get it because I've had it. I, I had it in Mongolia with one of the Bachman camels. There. <laughs> like, you know, it can happen anywhere with any camel. Um, it's just a matter of how open. Yeah. Open you are to experiencing that, so mm. um, I think we have segued a bit off. We've really <laughs> gone into it, haven't we? Wow, we. I but mean, I you mean, know, I hope you're getting something out of this because yeah, yeah, we're I all mean, about to get out the Kleenex. I um, think there's a reason these, you know, like this topic's really important, but you know, um, there's a reason that these sort of things are said in the timing that they've said. I, I honestly believe that in life. So, sure. Um, I know many of you listening, which we're so, so grateful that you are listening. That, totally. You know, you've got a bit of understanding of who we are now and we, we open up a little bit more in each podcast, I suppose you could say, with a deeper understanding about the camel. Um, some are really practical, but others, yeah. you know, go a little bit deeper. Why yeah. not? We want it, to, you know, well, we want to share and, you know, we want this to be value and uh, we want you to gain more understanding so that you've got that better relationship with your camel. Yeah. Uh, that's what it's about. Exactly. End of the day. We want that for every camel owner. Absolutely. Um, you know, not, not bi- non-biased, you know, every camel owner. Yeah. And that's our mission. Absolutely. <laughs> There you go. Well, that went around in circles. Now, that's what happens when we do a podcast without notes. Yes. It turns into something quite juicy. 
Yeah, but sometimes it turns to shit. So, well, that's true. <laughs> you have to just re-record. Yeah, 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 Tara said to me, "Oh, you haven't written down any notes." I said, "No, this one we can just go." Go with the yeah. flow. And yeah. uh, oh, I hope you hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, do leave yeah. us um, comments or reviews, or you know, reach out to us any platform that you know how to, um, and let us know how this resonated with you and. Yeah, any thoughts and feelings? Like, we love hearing from other camel people. Um, Absolutely. Because it, it can feel pretty lonely sometimes. It can. It can. <laughs> um, yeah, so reach out and let us know your thoughts on this. If something, you know, resonated or is something you want to tell us about an experience of yours too, that yep. would be really interesting too. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah, I think, I mean, you know our answer. Do, do, do pet camels need training? Pet camels including weed eating camels. Yes. Our thoughts are yes. Absolutely. Yep. Um, the practical, obviously, with the husband during vet care, but also the that that connection that yep. camels deeply crave with um, with their human companions. Yeah. Just to be able to manage your camels, mm. a bonus. Mm. Um, but uh, the bigger bonus is uh, the connection. Yeah. I mean, managing a camel, pretty much anyone can do that, really, when you think about it. Absolutely. Yep. But that's I think that's what sets us sets us apart is that we go that extra mile. I don't know if you call it that, but we go into that extra step of... Extra realm. Realm. How's that? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so funny. All right, guys. We we really um, hope you got so much value from this one way or another. Do reach out if you'd like to share any of your stories with us, Mm. your connection stories, and um, we really look forward to, to sharing some more with you real soon. We've got some... Really great juicy topics coming up. Yeah. What? Yeah. No, you just uh, said sharing stories. So how do I? Anyway, yes, yes. Okay. There's something <laughs> in the pipeline, guys, and uh, I know you, you know you're going to be so wildly excited. It's going, you know, so global. Yeah, I, I, oh, look honestly. No one's ever excited as the person who's doing it. <laughs> no, this is really cool. This is so cool. Yeah. Anyway, we will talk about that another time. Yes, you'll yeah. hear all about that soon. So stay tuned. Um, keep on camel connecting, hey? Yep, that's yeah. it. Okay. Good Catch on you on guys. The next one. See ya. Bye. Bye. If you like this information we've just shared with you, you'll be sure to love the free camel ebooks and training videos that we're giving away. We're giving away two camel ebooks. Introduction to Camels and Introduction to Camel Training. Plus, in our bonus camel training videos, we take you through training and handling camels built on connection and trust. And we also share how to understand a camel's way of thinking. This is gold information that you don't want to miss. So be sure to sign up now to get your free ebooks and training videos over at camelconnection.com.